Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Christopher Aaron. It is September 15th, 2022, and this is going to be a critical gold price update. I'm watching the action right now overnight into Thursday morning in Asia, and gold is at an absolutely critical level. So I want to update you on what we are seeing here in the charts, and as a forward-looking warning, if all you want is someone to blow sugar at you and drop roses at your feet and tell you everything's going to be good. This is not the channel for you. This is a channel where we do critical analysis from an independent perspective on the gold market. I have no predetermined agenda other than to show you what I am seeing in the charts. So, once again, warning. If you want someone to tell you that gold is only going to go higher, you should stop this video right now and not watch. Otherwise, let's get into it. Make sure to hit the big red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you'll be notified when these free videos come out on YouTube. And make sure to follow us at iGlobalGold on Twitter because sometimes I don't have a chance to post updates here on YouTube, but I always have a chance to post quicker things on Twitter. The legal disclaimer, please make note. You have to make your own decisions. Ultimately, all I can do is publish the best research and analysis that I'm capable of. The critical support test that we are watching right now for gold as we look over the last 13 years of the gold price um, is this two and a half year horizontal support band. You can see this here, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh time that gold has been coming back to this level around 1680, 1680. And if we update from what we were looking at last time, you know, my apologies, I haven't been able to produce a video here for the last number of weeks. I am focused at this time on making sure our premium subscribers are updated at these critical times. I have to place the priority there. I hope you can understand that. Um, but here I finally have a moment to do this and I want to show you. So the question is, are we setting up for a period like this again? Is this consolidation going to break downward like we did in 2013 after the previous two years, right? So first, if we update what we were looking at last time we spoke, it was this four-year rising trend shown in blue. And unfortunately, we are now having a second failure of this trend. The first one gave a little false breakdown, looked like it was going to recover. When you see two breaks of a primary rising trend like this, uh, it's very rare to see a second false breakdown. So this looks like the rising trend has been broken. And so this puts us at the critical horizontal support at 1680. Right now we are $16 above that. Actually, as I'm speaking, gold is down to 1694 in the spot market. So we're $14 above that. You know, gold can move $30 in one day. So this could literally happen tomorrow. In fact, I think we have another test of this coming tomorrow. There is the jobs report, the initial jobless claims, I should say, coming out at 8.30 in the morning Eastern. We'll see what happens then. Should be exciting. But really, guys, what we're trying to analyze is the possibility of gold having this kind of catastrophic decline and leading to a several year bear market here. You know, this kind of thing where gold falls $300 in a couple of weeks. Is that setting up again? Is it? Well, I don't have the answer. If anyone's telling you that they have the crystal ball answer, they're full of it. All I can do is share with you my best take on it, given studying this market for the last 15 years, and trying to be unbiased, trying to be. So obviously, I mean, the patterns look ominously similar. We had the, the two and a half year consolidation here, about a two year consolidation here. 
We see the, the failure that happened back in 2013. We already see the rising trend break. Is this getting ready to fail now? Sometimes it helps to take a step back and have a look at what another component of the precious metal sector is cluing us into. And in this case, what I want to do is look at the gold miners, the senior gold miners on the top and the very product that these companies mine for at the bottom. Now we were just looking at gold here in isolation and now we're doing one on top of the other. So when we look at where the senior gold miners are here right now, if you look at where this fund is trading at approximately the 25 level here, and you simply draw this back and look at the other times that the GDX was trading at this 25 level, all the way back to 2013 here, and then you draw this down and you look at where gold was trading at the same time that the GDX was trading at 25, you will see that unfortunately, the gold mining complex is currently pricing in something like 1,250 gold. This is about $450 lower than where gold itself is trading. The other way that you can see this is just look at the base resistance here, this black double line. Notice there was six years of consolidation below the black double line. Same thing here for the GDX. Notice that the GDX is back below the black double line here, this resistance all the way from 2013 through 2020. Notice that the GDX is back below the black double line. Look at where gold is. It's still about $300 above the black double line. So the gold miners are pricing in, once again, something like 1,250 gold. This is absolutely not pretty, what the gold miners are foreshadowing here. And so just to bring it back to the main chart here, I mean, you know, ultimately what we're talking about is the price of gold. S excuse me, there's my alert going off in the background. I have uh, some key alerts that are triggering me as to when gold is moving below a certain level. And it is now. We're now taking out uh, the low from yesterday, 1693. And so really, as we see this unfolding here, let me turn that alert off in the background. Okay, so I have turned that alert off. And really, the question that we're trying to answer here is not so much, okay, what is the highest probability scenario, which at this point looks like gold is, in fact, going to break this key support. And then we'll have to start evaluating how far gold could fall here over the coming months. That'll be a topic for another video. Our premium subscribers already have that answer if you're curious. But then the question becomes, what does one do if in fact one agrees with this analysis that there is a reasonable probability here that gold is going to fail? What does someone do? And this is where it gets highly individual. For example, if you are a stacker, and this is a long-term savings account, real savings account for you in physical metals. You may say, great, gold's going to fall a few hundred dollars on a highest probability. This will be time to accumulate more cheap metal. That may be, in fact, the case for you. If that were the case for you, if you were a stacker, then what I would say, though, is you have the luxury of waiting here. I would say this is not a moment to back up the truck. Let's see if 1680 fails. If it fails, we will most likely be coming down several hundred dollars below that. So you'll have the opportunity to wait for that. Now, very different scenario, however, if you have, let's say, the majority of your portfolio invested in the gold mining sector, because the gold miners are highly leveraged to the price of gold. And if they are, in fact, foreshadowing that gold itself is going to drop a few hundred dollars here, then you have to be really careful because these companies could lose a significant amount of value even from where they are today. And this is why for our premium subscribers, we have been suggesting for that category, for investors that are highly leveraged, we have been suggesting a gold insurance policy that would protect you and pay you if gold in fact fails at this support level as the gold miners are suggesting. 
So as I said, this is a highly individual question. This isn't appropriate for all investors. If you're a stacker, this may not be the proper thing for you because you're just going to be saying, hey, a few months from now, if we in fact have gold back in the 1400s or 1300s, great, I'll load up the truck then, right? But if you're highly leveraged or if you've taken out debt to invest, even more precarious, you may truly benefit from an insurance policy here. And the way gold is trading in Asia tonight, uh, down to 1693, as we are speaking, I told you this support is right around 1680. You may not have that much more time to consider this. You may only have a couple of days here if, in fact, this scenario is going to play out again. Please consider this. The services that we offer, Precious Metals Intelligence Plus, this is the service in which we are detailing the exact insurance policy contracts that we are taking out here. We've already profited somewhat from them, but if in fact gold does fail over the coming days or weeks or months, uh, this will pay off a lot more. We produce premium weekly members-only videos, just like you are seeing right now, but more, more in-depth, more detailed. We cover not only gold, but silver, the gold mining complex, Bitcoin, an update went out on Bitcoin last week, many, many other things, US dollar, et cetera, et cetera, and the exact signals that we are using here to make our decisions. If you are a higher net worth investor, you must check out Elite Private Placements. Elite Private Placements, by the way, includes Precious Metals Intelligence for free for as long as you're an investor. So you're not missing out and you don't have to uh, subscribe to both. But with Elite Private Placements, not only do you get PMI Plus, you also get free warrants with every investment that you are making. And free warrants gives you nearly twice the upside compared to open market purchases. Please keep this in mind going forward. If you would like to speak to me, Christopher Aaron, one-on-one -on -one about your situation, I mentioned two hypothetical situations of investors. For example, if you are uh, a stacker, you may simply hit the pause button here for the next couple weeks, couple months, see in fact if gold fails, see if we get a precipitous decline, and then that may be the moment for you to load up the truck. But if you're highly leveraged in the gold mining sector, if you have a significant portion of your net worth in that sector, you may benefit from an individual consultation with someone who has nothing to sell you other than uh, looking at your situation from an objective standpoint and offering you a what would I do in your situation, given your exposure to the sector. Thank you once again for tuning in. Gold at 1693 as we get into uh, the midnight hour here in Asia, Thursday morning. This is going to be fascinating to watch. Make sure you are prepared.